Hey all, I want to do, uh, share with you this really simple Java server that I found. Um, I was reading a bit about it and it was actually built into Java in release 6. And this is, uh, you know, as you probably know, we're up to 10. I'm not sure we actually may be up to 11 as of this video. Uh, but here is the documentation from 10 and you can make a really simple um, Java server. Now the docs, um, I think... Um, don't show the full simplicity of it, but I just wanted to show you where you can reference all the cool things you can do. So um, let me dive into a, a code sample here and just show you how, how simple it is. So here I have um, the imports, <coughs> and I just have my own class called Simple Server. You have a main, and this, this line here actually creates the server, and it makes it listen on port 8000. Um, so you can specify your port. You could do, if it's under 1024, obviously you need to do root since root has to bind, uh, you need root access to bind to ports 1024 and below. So you make the server and then what you need on the server is a handler. And what's really cool about this is this is like the modern type approach you'll see on some of the, the more recent, um, servers like Flask and Python where you have a handler that handles every route. So we're going to call slash hello a route. And if a HTTP request comes in for slash hello, um, it will handle that route. And we just make an, I just made an inner class here to keep it simple and to keep it on one, you know, one Java file. And it's a class that overrides this handle method. Um, from HTTP handle, so it gets an HTTP exchange, which is going to be your request response that you'll see in HTTP. So we just return a string, and we set the response code to 200, and then we write that those bytes into there. So this can get a little low level, obviously. Um, you can easily make helpers and things to make this nicer and easier, um, but let's um, let's just dive in and run this uh, server. So let me just split this window and do examples, Java simple. And let me just do history, grep Java C. Okay, so I'll just rm start at class, which is what I had. So let me just compile this real quick. And then I can just Java simple server. And now my server is running. So it doesn't run as a daemon. It runs right here in this browser, or in this uh, command prompt, I should say. Um, and now we can just make a request. So if I just do a curl, localhost, 8000, hello, I will get the hello world that my server is serving on. Um, really cool example, and I think this leads to a lot of... Um, Cool things that you can do. Uh, my my view, I've been doing software for a long time. My view of the world right now in software, at least, is you have these huge frameworks that promise to do all these things for you. Um, and they, you know, they say, for one, they do everything. And for two, they say, if you do this on your own, it would be very hard and lots of low-level code. Well, um, that's really not the case so much anymore. Um, you can do things right out of the box. Um with great ease and simplicity, and you don't need all the other stuff. So um, hopefully you can um, agree with that point and that opinion that uh, I've, I've actually formed recently. Um, and yeah, hopefully uh, this, this comes useful for you uh, in some way. I will post the just a gist I have on my GitHub for this code and uh, the link for the, the um, simple HTTP server on the Java 10. Uh, thanks for watching.